If you want to know how to make a similar power plant robbery like jailbreak, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out how to. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new video. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a power plant robbery in Roblox. Before we start off, um, subs have been dropping pretty recently, so I'd love it if you would subscribe if you're new, because you'll be an epic gamer, okay? Shout out to JTN, he's a member in my Discord server, he is a member on my YouTube channel. We changed the perks, but I said to him, hey dude, because you already purchased it before, you can get two more shoutouts. So, uh, next video is this last one, so shout out to you, and um, if you actually want to become a member, then make sure to click the blue join button down below. And we can start off now by making our power plant robbery. And now, as I said, let's start off. So, what you need is, um, all you need, well, all, hmm, you want to make a part and name this one GY Giver. And the other one Money Collector. Now, make them the size you want. This is going to be my money collector. Anchored on, can't collide false. Same as this one. Anchored on, can't collide false. But for this one, I'm going to set the transparency to 0 0.5. We're going to do some... Uh, like, some pre-work. So, <laughs> this is going to be a bit odd. In replicated storage, make four remote events. And then this one, two, three, and four. We have one, two, three, four. Now insert two scripts into uh, the thingies like this. Now for GUI giver, we're gonna type local debounce is equal to true. Uh, Script.parent.touched comma connect function hit if hit dot parent colon find first child humanoid. Uh, then so if there's a humanoid in the player. Then local PLR is equal to game dot players colon get player from character hit dot parent. But what we're basically doing here is just defining a player. If debounce is equal to, equal to true, so if this is true, then we're gonna set it to false for a second. Game dot replicator storage dot remote event dot colon fire client PL PLR player. And we're gonna wait one second and then we're gonna set the debounce to true again. The money collector one is a bit mm, longer. We're gonna make a small inside detection. So if you have too much money, like jailbreak, you can only collect your money at 50, 600, I believe. Let's do that. So what we're doing is we're gonna copy this, paste it in here, and over here, we're just gonna delete everything in this. And over here, we're gonna type if demand six six are true and PLR dot has yes. It sounds really stupid. Sorry. Um, th we're just gonna make it so if, if you do have it, if you do have like um, money equipped, then uh, you can get your money in else node. So if PLR has yes, that value is 66 to true. So if the debounce is true and you have money, then game not even true. Debounce is equal to false. Now you want to type if PLR dot nuclear money that value. Is above 5600. So if your money is above the like the anti detection, then game dot replicator storage dot remote event two call a fire client PLR, and we're gonna set your money to zero. So by saying PLR dot nuclear nuclear money value is six to zero. Else, so if it is if it's below 5600, we're gonna do the exact same, but before we Set it to zero. We're gonna do PLR dot leader stats dot money dot value plus equals uh, PLR dot nuclear money dot value. And over here, we're just gonna do weight is zero point five. Debounce equals to true, like that. And that's your entire script done for this. Yep. Now let's go move on to server script servers. Yes, this script is also pretty long, but we're just gonna go step from step. Game the players, the player added, comma connect function player. So we're just ready for players to join. 
local leader stats is to instance a new folder we're gonna insert a folder into our player and we're gonna name this folder uh, leader stats make sure to not capitalize the L if you do uh, your script breaks local nuclear money is equals to instance that new number value into the player nuclear money that value is equal to zero nuclear money dot mm, name is equals to nuclear money make sure to capitalize the n and m now co just copy this and paste it in here change money just change it to money now local has yes is equals to instance that new bool value it's like a true or false so like if it's true then you can do that and if it's false you can do that blah 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 Nothing really much or specialized. Anyways, uh, into the player. Has yes that value is equal to false because you don't have it if you join. Has yes that name is equal to has yes. Now we're going to type game that replicated storage dot remote event three dot on server event common connect function. And we're going to set a function to a PLR. And not the player, because that will be visible to everyone. And we're going to fire a remote event for the player only. So that's confusing. PLR, <coughs> sure. PLR that has yes that value is equal to true. And then we're going to set our nuclear money that value to 6,000. Because if you uh, rob the power plant, you get 6,000 cash and jailbreak. Now we're just going to type simply repeat PLR dot nuclear money that value minus equals 50. And we're gonna do that every second until PLR dot nuclear money that value is below one or the PLR that has yes that value is equal to false. So we're just running this script until you either collect money or uh like either you collect money or you don't. If PLR dot nuclear money dot value it's below one, so we're just gonna check if it's actually below one. Then we're just gonna do game replicator storage dot four. Well, remote event four. Call on fire client PLR, and we're gonna set your has yes dot value to false. And I actually wanna check something in a script. Um. Okay, we're actually not doing that. Am I right? I'm very correct. Okay, well, anyways, what we can do is we can move on to some other scripts. Now we need the actual GUI. This is not confusing at all, as all we're doing is make a GUI with a power plant GUI, insert a local script, a text button, well, text label too, name the text label display money, and add in a button, a text button, not an image. And name this one money giver. Now just move them wherever you want. I want my money giver here so you can get la money. Cause yeah. And this one going to be in the middle for the nuclear money values. So to this well change it to nuclear money colon money six thousand. So it's always at six thousand. Cause it's a text color to lime. Background transparency one. Actually, gonna make it Gotham black because it looks very cool. Now, the last and final script: local player is equals to game the player is local player. Not player player. Game the replicated storage dot remote event the normal one dot all client event gonna connect function. Over here, we're firing the normal event, and we're gonna pick that up in the server uh, in the client over here function nothing if script dot parent dot display money dot visible equals to true so if you already have like money equipped nothing because you already have la monies else so if you don't then we're gonna set it to the money giver it's not visible it's equals to true yep game dot replicator storage dot remote event four dot on client event connect function 
and all we're doing is um this well script dot parent dot money giver visible is equal to six to false and script dot parent dot display money dot visible six to false and all you want to do now is copy this and change it to a two. Fair enough. Script a parent dot money giver dot mouse button one click click connect function. Script a parent dot money giver dot visible equals to false. Script a parent dot display money dot visible equals to true. Sounds confusing, but don't worry. Key dot replicate storage dot remote event three colon fire server player. And over here, one final word, player dot nuclear nuclear money dot changed, comma connect function. So we're just gonna check if your nuclear money has been changed, like fifty drop every time. Then we're just gonna do script dot parent dot display money dot text is equals to nuclear value. Oh nuclear value. Now we can do nuclear value. Set it to visible off nuclear value and then this dot dot player dot nuclear money dot value and you are done why not test this out dude i know right why not so let's click play here and i believe i didn't even anchor them that is very stupid anyway oh my hey i had this problem before Hmm. Oh, I never set it to. Oh, what? What did it untick? Oh. Okay, play here. And we can just close this up. Okay. Now, if we walk on this, we get that thing. And now, if we click get the monies, it's gonna go drop down every second. If we go in, we do not get a new another GUI because we already have money. And now if we go through this one, I realize that I did something wrong. Why wow, did I insert it into the player? Oh, okay, it has to be leader stats and not player. Sorry about that. This is going to be testing purposes. So let's see. Okay, let's get money. We cannot go through this. And now if we go through this part, we do not get money. Hmm. That's because we have that anti-detection. Now if we wait, because you saw, if we have 5,500 now. If we walk through, we don't get anything because we set it to 5,600. Now if we get more money, I'm just going to wait. So it should drop to 5,600. And then once I did that, like now, we can walk through the part. And we get successfully all of our money. And you can do this again. Of course, uh, normally this part would be like right over there. Normally it will be right over there. This one would be all the way at the other side of the map. Because you would have to travel all the way to this part. And normally you lose quite a bit of money. So this is basically it. How to make a power plant robbery like jailbreak. Because you walk through the part. You claim money. And then you have to walk all the way to this. And then you get money. So I hope this tutorial helped for you. If it did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel. My name is Newbie and I say peace out.